I'm Deborah Tash, and I'm an artist in San Francisco, California. Um, I've been working as an artist um, since the mid-70s, um, at which point I decided that it was time to do what felt like truly my purpose was about, which is to make art. And I am what I call a shamanic artist. My work is um, about the bridge between the spirit realms and spirituality and the human realms. So when I do a piece, I'm, I'm calling in those energies, I'm calling in healing energies, I'm calling in spiritual energies to assist me and to also translate that into my work. So for instance, this piece here, this little card, was the first piece that I did in a series called Spirit of the Creek. And it comes out of an experience that I had when I was walking up a creek bed and in a very, very overgrown, lots of trees, very deep, dark kind of an environment with a creek running through it. And I was walking up the creek and I, ha and I had a vision of the spirit that lived in that, that area, in that, on the, in that creek bed. So I did this piece um, as a way to work with those feelings and, and work with those energies. And then over time, I've done a couple of others, but this behind me, this piece here, this is the most recent one. This is Spirit of the Creek in Kanto, um, in the Philippines, when people have experiences in nature where they feel that they're hearing the voices of, the, of, of nature, of the singing of the creek and the singing of the trees, and it's called an encanto. It's also about calling in the spirits of that realm of, the, of, of nature that people are, are, are walking through or, or interacting with. So this is part of what I do in my work. Um, my, I have several series, actually, that I work with. So um, when I get an idea, if it fits into one of those series, then I make a decision about what, whether I want to paint it or draw it or do, uh, do it in fabric or make a mask. I do a lot of mask work also, although neither of these pieces are masks, but I do a lot of mask work, which I also put into the paintings. And all at, at the same time as calling in those energies to inform the paintings so that when people see my work, they have a deeper experience of that kind of spirituality. Um, that's what I'm after with these pieces. This piece is called The Eye of God, and it is um, the very first piece in a series that I call Cloudscape Design. Uh, it's meant to be about the reverie that one can get into when you're sitting in a in a field or lying in a field and looking at clouds. When I was a kid, I used to always imagine that I could see God in the clouds. So this is what this piece is about. This painting is called A Timothy Farewell. And it also is a painting in the Cloudscape Design Series. Um, I did this painting as a, a farewell to a lover whom I had to um, leave. And so that's why it's called A Timothy Farewell. It's also going to be uh, shown in the catalog for Open Studios. The piece that we're looking at right now is what I call a fabric painting. It's the very first piece in the Soft Power series. and. I was inspired by Judy Chicago to do more introspection and more exploration of the nature of sexuality and women's sexuality in particular in, in terms of it being a, the source of our feminine power. And so this piece is called Soft Power and as you can see it's made with lace and um, shiny uh, fabrics and um, and different kinds of beads. It's meant to be very evocative, but very soft at the same time. So this piece here um, is called For Monica. And it's, it's also a piece in the Cloudscape Design Series. 
Um, if you see in the, the very far right-hand corner, there's a sort of a cloud, amorphous-looking um, shape. It's actually supposed to be the shape of a bull. The person that I painted this of is a Taurus. And so that was to be about her sign. And it's, um, that piece it was done both in acrylic, it's mixed media, it's acrylic and pencil. So um, that was the first time I really tried to, to mix media in that way. So this one again is for Monica. This piece is called Reclaiming Medusa. And Medusa is a much misunderstood figure in, in mythology. Um, she is really about feminine power and anger in particular, feminine anger. She was actually, Medusa was worn on the breastplate of Athena. Athena was the goddess of wisdom and Medusa was worn on her breastplate because she was the shadow of wisdom. So this piece is about reclaiming that power for women. Awaken to the Goddess. This is the very first piece in the Awaken to the Goddess series. Uh, it's a drawing. It's taken from a, a photograph of myself looking in a mirror. And it's very much about a message to women to accept our spirituality, to accept our, our feminine power and gender. So that is primarily what I was looking for. I also was really interested in the, in the reflection in the mirror. This beautiful little goddess image is the beginning of a new piece. I'm working on it just this week. And ultimately I'm going to translate that image into a sign for my front door that will say, in her image studio. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that it's been informative and has helped give you some insight into what I'm doing and what I'm trying to create and what I'm trying to offer to the world. You can buy my work through Montaggio.com and I will also be in more videos that will be coming up in the near future. And you can contact me through Montaggio.com as well. I'm Deborah Tash. Thank you for your time.